Hi again. The average uh, PR list uh, that I showed you in the previous video is also available in your private database. Let's take a look. Uh, go to private database. And uh, menu matches. And play over here. Here you see there's uh, nothing here. But in your private database, you also have some new menu options. Generate live PR. And let's see. And uh, there it is. And you have also in your private database, you are able to um, change the, the country of each uh, user. Denmark. Yeah, I'm not sure, but let's guess the United States, Denmark, Sweden. But uh, one uh, clue here is that uh, these actually won't change until you generate the list again, since so all this information is cached. So let's try to generate. And now this uh, got updated. There's also another uh, generate uh, live PR. I don't think we need to do it. This, this is uh, for all. This is for all matches, also one point matches and three point matches. There is an option, a match filter, to say that you want to only display uh, data for matches longer than three points, which includes or this excludes uh, one and three point matches. Or you can show uh, and choose to show all. And there's also a last one here. It's to generate online PR. But for that to be in use, uh, you need to have uh, matches uh, that are uh, tagged as uh, online. And to do that, you need to say that a tournament uh, should be uh, should be uh, considered online. And there, that you can do in the tournaments section, in matches, tournaments. And here we see uh, quite a mess of the stuff that I have imported. The problem is if you don't use the override uh, tournament name, you end up with all kinds of uh, names in here. That, uh, this doesn't look too good. Uh, yes, I've already tried to do this with one. Yeah, if you click on the live button, uh, it will toggle. Let me see, extreme gaming, and let's say this is an online tournament. Now we can go to the matches uh, list. Uh, a quick way, Control M, and there we have the extreme gaming one. If you click on this match and match info, we now see there's a, a Wi-Fi icon there. You set this uh, to show that this is an online uh, match. And we saw all that uh, mess that we had in that tournament list is uh, because of uh, the stuff we have imported here. And you see there's uh, everything is uh, just all kinds of stuff. And what was this from? Info Extreme Masters. And uh, right, so when you see this uh, XF, uh, that's uh, some Unicode uh, charges that has. Uh, that the server isn't able to decode properly. So for this, you have to do the old trick of edit. Click on this one, and uh, do we have an XG master share? You see, no, nothing. So just uh, rename this one to XG master rename. And then for the the other ones, I think that's also an extreme master. Yes, we need to uh, merge uh, these with the uh, one that's correct. And this is obviously taking forever, so you should use that uh, tournament override when you import many matches uh, from a single folder just to get uh, to avoid all the extra work here. You see uh, the average PR list. You can quickly go there with Control O, I think. Yeah. 
yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for the PR list. See you. Yeah.